there are other devices like, for example, Cardio Mobile, these other devices that you can hold the device and actually do a one or two channel EKG. Those are also very useful. Not quite as convenient as a smartwatch that you can wear all the time that's kind of keeping track. So lots of different ways of doing this, but I would say that these types of devices that provide you one or two channels or an Apple watch that provides you one channel of electricity, they're very good screener tools. They're not perfect, but they probably can pick up atrial fibrillation a good 80, 90% of the time. But once again, you get into the same constraints as the EKG computer trying to interpret it. They may say possible atrial fibrillation. That doesn't necessarily mean you do have atrial fibrillation. It should be overread by somebody who's qualified to read this, a cardiologist or an electrical cardiologist, because I have had patients come to me where their Apple Watch kept saying they were an AFib, and it turned out it was just their normal rhythm with having these extra premature beats that made it seem irregular, but it was still the normal rhythm. They were not actually in atrial fibrillation, but the watch wasn't sure, and so it said, yeah, AFib or possible atrial fibrillation. So these are good screener devices. I would say that they're most accurate when the AFib is for a prolonged period of time and it's not super duper fast. The faster the speed goes or the more irregular it is, the more it might not pick up everything and give you an incorrect diagnosis or miss it.